Welcome to Gary's Garage. Okay, so I just wanted to let everybody know, um, in order to do this job with a catalytic converter, this is what you need. You need all these tools. You need to have a pair of gloves. And the reason why is when you're twisting at the exhaust pipe, it helps to have a good set of gloves. You need paper towels. You'll need this tool to take off that uh, O2 sensor. You'll need a set of sockets, particularly the 15 millimeter. All these nuts are 15 millimeter. You'll need a pry bar of some sort or a large screwdriver to get the catalytic converter away from the, the, uh, the bracket. You'll definitely need a breaker bar, which is this tool right here. It's invaluable. You need one. You need to have some half inch ratchet set with extensions and you'll need to have this tool which is the 15 millimeter as well as this um, I don't even know what you call it um, yeah you'll need that from an impact you need to have an impact gun half inch drive it's a requirement um, you just can't you just it's just almost impossible to do it without it I mean you can do it with a breaker bar I'm sure but it would just take forever and I don't have forever uh, you need a hammer you need to have some of these uh, metric as well as you probably need a three-fourths uh, drive to take off the um, O2 sensor and you need to have a light you need to have this um, penetrating oil so I have here PB Blaster, which I use. I use Liquid Wrench, and I just purchased this uh, coil. Something else I forgot to mention, when uh, you're doing the catalytic converter, you're gonna need one of these sets. Um, particularly this piece right here, which is 10 millimeter. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter. Okay, so I got the both sides of the car mount lifted up in the air. I got, as you can see, several jack stands underneath just to uh, make certain that uh, this thing doesn't come falling down on my head. The, the, the hydraulic jack is not lifting any weight. All the weight is on those two jacks as shown. And here are the uh, Eastern catalytic converters. There's Unfortunately, there's two of them for this V6, and it talks about this warning that there is a break-in period, that you're supposed to start the engine, let it idle, after five minutes increase it to 250 uh, or 2500 RPM. I don't think that this car gets to 2500 RPM. I think it only goes up to 2000. But anyways, you hold it for two minutes, allow the engine to cool down, road test for correct installation. It says. Don't screw it up or else it can cause rattling and all kinds of other problems. Here we are, we got um, two, two of these um, O2 sensors that need to be taken off. Here's the plug on that one, plug there. And then you can see the other one that's way up there. And then you got two bolts, one there. And that one back there which Looks like there's gonna be clearance with a a wrench. So looks like everything's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, disconnect this guy here and this guy here, and then. All right, so I'm gonna use this uh, three fours. Okay, so I managed to take off the two um, O2 sensors. Okay, I'm going to spray some of this coil. Looks like we might be okay. Actually, the oil filter is not in the way. So 
so that's that's good news. Okay, well, with enough banging on the with the hammer right here, my toe was, you just bang until you can get this thing off. And you don't have to take off the uh, oil filter, although it probably would uh, would help if you did. So I'll go ahead and take that O2 sensor off. Okay, now it's time to take off this O2 sensor. So you're gonna need. Uh, this tool come down in here and take this thing off. Okay, so I'm going to spray a little bit of this coil on it. Comes out red. And I'm going to use an adapter. And my breaker bar. Get a lot more leverage. Break this bad boy down. Alright. Here we go. Amazing. Just with a a um, extra little bit more leverage, and I think maybe the penetrator would have worked. That takes that thing right out, no problem. Start putting on the new catalytic converters. I mentioned that you'll need to have this tool here, which is a uh, hex bolt. Hex some kind of hex tool. Take off these uh, plugs. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, that's real easy. Take that one out. turn these things hardly at all. But you do need a wrench to turn them off to just need to get it started just a little bit. They come right off. Okay, so um, I'm here put this exhaust pipe on I'm getting pretty close to being able to fit this up what I've been doing is you can probably see here I've been hitting this area right here with a hammer and you can check your progress right right there 
so I've completely filled in. I only have a little bit left I need to pound this thing into, and I've been using WD-40 to uh, help slide it in better. And then you can reuse these brackets. So the came the brackets came with this kit, but I'm gonna just reuse these brackets. And uh, just doing some hammering. So this probably will save you some time. I finished the so I finished the catalytic converter, and well, let's just say that it was a disaster. Um, East the catalytic converter. The lip on the thing that I showed you, well, it was too big and deep. So basically, I went to a Muffler Brothers to check it out because there was a leak, and they said it was the part was effective. So instead of going and taking it off and replacing it and sending it back, I just had the Muffler Brothers replace it for $950. So. If you're going to do this job, make sure that you get OEM parts because uh, it's just not worth it. Alright, thanks!